Hello viewers, our next question is find the least number which must be added to 6412 to make it is as perfect square. So let's take find 6412 is a perfect square or not first one. So let's take 6412 divide 22 as one group then 688 are 64 then 0 will get 1 2 then what is that here is 8 8 2 is 16 then here 12 we are getting so let's take here so as usual so what is that is so 12 we are getting that so 12 and what you are getting here is 12 then 161 you have to keep 1 1 so 161 into 161 then what we are getting here is 12 minus you will get so here minus means 2 12 minus 161 that is minus 149 that is minus 149 so the number let's take if you want to get one reminder should be 0 means reminder is minus 149 so it should be equal to 0 means we have to add plus 149 the number the number that is is added added to 6412 is equals to plus 149 that means so if you add 6412 plus 149 then you, what you'll get here is 6412 plus 149 will be equal to 6561 so is the perfect square number or not we have to check so 6561 2 2 as one group then 8 8 is a 64 then 1 161 8 2 is a 16 then 1 1 here 1 here 1 then 161 will come then 0 yes it is square root of 6561 will be equal to 81 thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos we, if you don't hit subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss estimate the value of following numbers to the nearest whole number estimate the value of the following numbers that is square root of that so these are actually square root of 97, square root of 250 and square root of 8780. So let's take square root of 97, how to take as. So below this and above this, what are the perfect square numbers? As we know 81 and above this 100. So 81 means you can take it as 9 square, square root of 97. Estimation means approximately you have to do then square root and square will going to cancel then 9 less than square root of 97 less than 10 so what is that so 97 and 100 so it's below the it's near 97 is near 200 than 81 so for that therefore square root of 97 is the nearest to square root of 100 then square root of 81 so for that we have to select what is the option is 10 so square root of 97 will be equal to 10 our next one is square root of 250 so let's take square root of 250 will be less than and above than this we have to take so 225 so what is that so square root of 225 is a perfect square number above this 256 so 225 at 225 you can take it as 15 square and 250 then square root what is that 16 square so here square and square root will going to cancel so 15 is less than square root of 250 is less than 60 so it's near to 250 is near to 256 why because 256 minus 250 you'll get 6 then 250 minus 225 will get 25 so which one is near 6 based on this you can take so you can say it as this one therefore 
square root of 256 is near to square root of sorry square root of 250 is near to square root of 256 then square root of 225 then what is that approximately 250 will be equal to 16 thanks for watching please subscribe so here what you can take next one is 780 so square root of 780 less than and above than this we have to take so 729 and above this 784 you should know perfect square numbers then only it will be easy then what you can take here is 27 whole square less than 780 so it is in the between of 30 and 20 so for that we have to take like that so 28 whole square then square and square root will going to cancel 27 is less than 780 is less than 728 so which one is very near to 780 that is 784 784 minus 780 will get 4 then 780 minus 729 so 780 minus 729 will become 51 so which one is near this only so for that what you can take here is therefore square root of 780 is near to square root of 784 than square root of 729 so for that it need to take 28 that is approximately 780 will be equal to what is that 28 thanks for watching please subscribe